today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, six-scale collectible figure of Raphael. Spot's continuing his looks at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figures from the folks over at 3-0. Uh, Raphael being the larger brooding member of the team, it doesn't it seems to be ever since uh, ever since like the first '90s movie, Raphael has been more portrayed as the big rugged bruiser of the team uh, versus the wise cracking Raphael that we got in the original cartoon. For your box art, it's very similar to the Leonardo that we had a look at, where you have a white box with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the movie six scale collectible figure. And then the lower half has Raphael in red, as well as an image of the turtle from the movie. You can already see that he is more, certainly more into the fights and stuff because he's got more gashes in his arms, in his face. Even like his mask is more tattered and ripped up than Leonardo. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, six scale collectible figures from 3-0. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Before we have a look at Raphael, let's have a look at some of the accessories that come included. Leonardo, come, or Leonardo came with two pairs of interchangeable hands. Raphael on the other hand only comes with one extra pair of hands these hands being closed fisted if perhaps you would prefer to have them displayed like that the default however and when you get them out of packaging uh, he actually comes with the open hands kind of similar to leo so you don't actually really have to change out the hands if you want to have them displayed with the size like leo the hands are individually wrapped up which i like it just gives a, a more realistic look to it rather than having it a sculpted plastic. There's a dinginess, a dirtiness to it as well. So it, it looks certainly more realistic. I pay, probably may not ever display him with closed fists personally. Um, like the Leo, I'd be likely to display him with weapons in hand. Speaking of weapons, uh, Raph comes with a pair of Psy. And if you compare these Psy versus, say, the original 90s Turtles, these ones definitely are more edgy and just brutal looking. There's a little bit of detailing, a little bit of kind of sculpting on the blade of the, the Psy. The Psy's are wrapped up in the same sort of fabric material as wrapped up around the wrists, the bicep area, and the feet area of Raphael. They also have a little point on the top as well. Uh, probably like the other Turtle movie, or the movie Turtles uh, from the Bay uh, Ninja Turtles, I'm wondering actually where they would have acquired the weapons if these just simply a case that they found these in an alleyway. I can't imagine they would have found these in the sewer. But judging by how large that Psy is, and judging really by how large Raphael is, it almost seems like it's too big for a normal human to have held. But it fits perfectly, of course, with a big brooding mass that is Raphael. Really love the look of the size, though, I have to admit. And like the original, and like Leonardo, you can spin around the back of the figure. And there are little areas that hold the size. There's little loops on either side here where the size can fit just at the back. They slide through these, these faux leather loops and the turtle can be displayed like that. I mean, truthfully, you would not likely display any of the turtles. I can't see myself ever displaying the turtles without having the weapons in hand. This also is a good opportunity to show you the just the ravaged shell that Raphael has. I mean, Leonardo had a pretty banged up shell, but Raph, on the other hand, you can see where areas of the shell has just been worn, like he's been dragged on the ground, something to cause the shell to have these, these just worn away areas. The shell has also been severely taped up, big cracks and gashes and slashes, not to mention a couple of holes, perhaps bullet holes. Uh, Raphael's shell is definitely a lot more damaged than Leo's. 
Like we had a look though with Leo, I'll probably display Raphael with size in hand. I will say this though, be very careful putting the size into Raph's hands. Raph's hands are very small, or not small, but they are very closed shut. And the size especially, or psi, because plural of psi is psi, the, uh, the psi themselves, uh, because these are very, very thin plastic, be careful that you're not obviously putting much pressure on them when you're putting the size into it, or psi, into Raph's hand that you don't accidentally break these. Just a little bit of 411 there. In fact, I found the easiest way to get them into his hand is by twisting them through until they finally fit themselves through Raph's fingers. You can technically also get the sigh with his fingers over top of the prongs here. The thing is though, there's not much space to allot that, that you do have to fight to get the, the fingers over it. I do worry that these may break through the process of it. You can, in a way, get the fingers through them or fingers around the top, but with the amount of fighting and how fragile these is, these are, uh, I would be a little on the careful side, I have to admit, to get the fingers over top of the size if you want to go with that look instead. Looking at Raph's outfit, it seems like it's less, like Leonardo has a very distinct samurai look. Raph, on the other hand, comes across almost, if I may, like a gladiator. He looks like he has more gladiator style of skirting on the front, which I think makes more sense for this type of turtle. He's more hands-on, he's more of the bruiser of the team, that I think it makes more sense for him having this sort of design rather than Leo. Leo's more about honor and the ways of, uh, you know, just the, the samurai way, where I feel like, again, Raph's more hands-on, you know, taking charge, stepping in, and starting a fight. The outfit really is fantastic on this figure. The same sort of strapping on Leo is here as well, and kind of a faux, faux leather material, which also carries a row around to the, the waist area. We spin around the back of the figure. This sort of material, which I guess is just a series of just rags and perhaps leather, has been stitched together to accommodate the just the size of the turtle. He's also got this uh, same sort of wrappings around the feet area. Now he's barefooted, whereas Leo had shoes, and he's got this this leather or suede that's been tied up around his legs as well. Of course, being that all the turtles are respected by, or uh, are done by their colors, respected colors, uh, Raphael has the red in the bicep area, the red in the ankle, in the knee, and actually it's only on one knee, which I have to go back and watch the movie again because I thought the red was on both knees, but it's only on the one knee. He's got some of that red that carries over into like a tattered fabric that's on the underside of the skirting. And of course, he's got the redding in the face, the red in the mask as well. So let's go ahead and talk about his head. His head actually is quite good. And uh, how all the turtles have their own very distinct looks. I also like that also with their bandanas as well. Now, Leo's has a more traditional look of his bandana, where Raph has a bandana that's completely covered over his the whole top of his head. And then he's got the two little uh, extra straps, I guess, of his bandana that carry over to the front. You can also have them to the side as well. Now these are material, whereas the bandana that's attached to his face is sculpted plastic. Paint is incredible on these figures. The wetness, and I mentioned this before with Leo too, the wetness that they've added on the face gives a realistic look. The only thing I would say is like the eyes don't seem to carry over as much as the of the lifelike feel to it. But the rest of the body is really good. I also noticed the scar that he's got right above the lip. He's got more gashes also on the sides of his face. Around the nose area there as well. How Raph stacks up to one of the other turtles. Let's bring in Leonardo. You can see right away, Raph does dwarf Leo as he should, he is larger in the movie, but he does fittingly enough dwarf 
Leo. Leo ends up looking a little shorter by comparisons to Raf. Uh, Build-wise, Raf's got a little bit larger legs, a little broader legs. His torso also looks like it could be just a little bit bigger, but it's likely uh, not quite a reuse to Leo because Leo has all these wrinkles in the front shell area that is oh, that are omitted here on Raf. There's a closer look at the differences of heads also between Leo's and Raf's. Leo, Leo definitely looks more calmer, uh, more uh, certainly more at honor, I guess, which is representing by the character, and Raph more just the rugged brawler bruiser of the four Turtle Brothers. They also managed to give him a different coloring as well. It's slight, it's very slight, but Raph looks like he has more of a darker lime green than what Leo has. It's not as predominant as some of the original Turtles figures where Leo was more of an olive color, Raph was more of a lime color, but there is a slight bit of difference in coloring between Raphael and Leonardo. For Raph's posability, his head is on a ball joint. It seems like it's a little stiffer than Leo's. You can get the head to pivot left and right as well, up and down. Basically this whole section, let me just spin the figure around here, this whole section here is rubber. And then the framework of the figure itself is underneath that rubber. The torso also has slight posability but it's it becomes a little difficult because you've got all the strapping here. I wouldn't want to start damaging any of that by trying to move the torso area. But it, you can see it does well, Raph's moves a little bit easier, a little bit easier than Leo's. Uh, the arms do rotate back and forth. They also move out and try to, not to disrupt the strap in the process. The elbows do bend. I mentioned this with Leo. The arms all here are rubber. And then the frame of the figure is inside that rubber. Whereas the legs, the legs are solid plastic. The wrists are on independent ball joints. The legs move forward and back, out, slight pivot uh, at the top of the thigh, and when you're moving the leg, you want to make sure that the lower torso, because this again is all rubber, you want to make sure that this doesn't get caught underneath the leg there. He does have a ratchet in the knee, and finally he's got a ball joint in the foot as well. Raph turned out really good. I think by comparison though, I do like Leonardo just a little bit more. I feel like Leo's just got a little bit more design to him. But I still feel like Raphael turned out good. And uh, being a big Turtles fan, you probably will not likely just pick up one turtle over the four. You would want to pick up all four of them. Uh, with these figures being a little bit over $200 a piece, they are a little bit more expensive. But 3-0 did a fantastic just a simply incredible job on these turtle figures. They look like they did in the movie. I wish that the weapons were maybe maybe metal. Maybe metal, then I would feel a little more at ease with them. Other than that, other than the, the weapons and the fact that the arms are rubbery, I'm really impressed with how these figures have turned out so far. I'm really excited about getting a Donatello opened up and of course Michelangelo. We're gonna again have a look at all four turtles. And then in the final video, Swat will just kind of do all, have all four figures on display so you guys can see all four of them, how they stack up to one another. In the meantime, today's collectible spot, Spot was having a look at the new 3-0 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figure six scale figures. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have the reviews of Donatello and Michelangelo right around the corner. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.